among the most wonderful places in Palma de Mallorca, there is one where magic and beauty become an unforgettable experience. The Alfabia Gardens, nestled in the Tramontana mountain, is a fusion of cultures, histories, and native roots that has awakened emotions and imagination with a cultural history transmitted from generation to generation. A paradise for the senses with a Mediterranean garden of more than one acre of grounds where you can breathe not only the wonderful aromas of nature but also the fascinating history of a place meticulously guarded since the 13th century. Alfabia was resided by an Arab viceroy called Ben Abbott until 1229 when King Jaime I reconquered the island of Mallorca to make a wonderful fusion of different cultures with Roman Andalusian roots and Arabic, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo features. The farm was established in one of the places in the island where it rains the most. Here you can enjoy all kinds of plants and flowers, many of them native and recovered from the past, and where the murmur of the water is a constant sound in every season of the year. Trellises and columns with crossing water jets on each side highlight the so-called game of waters, making the brightness of the water and its murmur a spectacle for the senses. The beautiful house, made up of a set of estate buildings, is cleverly integrated into a natural environment, giving a warm and powerful welcome with a main entrance whose bronze-plated doors are framed by two columns built in reddish local stone. Crossing the threshold of the entrance, there is one of the most historical art pieces, the antique Almohad coffered ceiling made of pine and oak wood from the 11th 70th century. Inlays that form beautiful and typical arabesque motifs and on whose frieze you can read Allah is great, the power belongs to Allah, there is no God but Allah. The coat of arms of the Arab families that lived in the state are embedded in the lower part. The main house is accessed through the paved patio, Clastra, according to the Mallorcan tradition, with a fountain in the centre and an immense conserved a hundred old silversmith tree. From the central patio, there is access to the chapel, the house of the innkeepers, the huge two-piece oil mill, also restored at the end of the 20th century, and the stables that are presented as they were when the farm was dedicated to agricultural work. Once inside, we can find the great room, a huge room in shades of blue, with pictures of family ancestors. In the engravings room, we can enjoy the chair of the Moorish king, Kadira del Rey Moro, misnamed by the popular version. Since it is much later than the Muslim culture, it is a wooden chair manufactured in Flanders, classified as the oldest known Gothic piece of furniture in Mallorca. The room called the Queen's Bedroom owes its name to the fact that it was decorated for Queen Elizabeth II 
and where she slept, according to tradition, during her visit to the island in 1860. In the library, there are several historical manuscripts. Incuna Bula. But above all the books, Es Libre de Ses Franqueses stands out, which King Jaime signed in Mallorca in 1246, giving new rights to its inhabitants. But there is something about Alfabia. Something unexplainable, which words or images can't describe. It might be the whispers of history or the sensation of peace that you can feel while walking through this wonderful mystic land. Whatever it is, no one has ever visited this land without feeling his aroma for the rest of his life.